good morning student so please take your history book i would like to discuss something uh, about historical fact little further hope you are going through the previous uh, lessons soon we will be having a small test uh, online uh, some of you have uh, done online exam so now it is easy for you to understand how the question comes and then how the uh, history question would be okay so uh, two lessons prepare two lessons not more two lessons and then uh, i'll be giving you 15 questions so 15 questions two lessons short questions multiple choice questions and the true false it's very easy okay and uh, uh, but you need to read everything of the lesson from where the question will come you don't know that means i am not making you frightened yet i want you to study everything of the lesson all important uh, facts and factions uh, you need to read okay that is what i meant to say that everything what will come or will not not come so uh, let us come to our discussion of today. I would like to go back to the previous discussions. We have uh, seen the river valley civilizations. Okay. All the river valley civilization, different civilizations we have seen. And uh, we have also seen about the, the rise of the Christian Christianity and then uh, uh, the Christianity, the Islam and so many others in Mesopotamian civilizations, so many things we have done. Medieval Europe we have seen, medieval Europe we have seen. All these things are fine enough. I want to tell you that in India, how the kingdom began. We had in your uh, uh, class 5, you have written, uh, learned the Janapadas and Mahajanapadas. As the people increased in number, they formed a group and lead, uh, led by a strong man strong man brave man he was the leader and slowly he became the the king of the tribe of the a particular group so he became the emperor the king after that so he has a he had a kingdom he had a particular area of his rule and said particular people uh, of a, of his own kind to rule so that was that so they were janapadas then this was extended into Mahajanapadas. So people they were choosing the, the, uh, the king, ruler. And that's why it is known as Janapadas, Mahajanapadas, Republic. Okay. And so this is how the kingdom spread. So in India, this was the, the system of uh, uh, the evolution of the kings and the kingdoms. Kings and the kingdoms. Now, so there were very many rulers. After that, there came the, the, the coming up of Aryans, the invaders. So, they invaded. Okay, and this was the fact that here, today we are going to uh, learn, discuss little bit uh, about the, the invaders. The first invaders I told were the Aryans. Aryans invaded India. Okay, they were the first invaders from the the the, the uh, central uh, asia central asia uh, from the the area of caspian sea and all that uh, so today we call it eurasia geographically we call it eurasia from there they emerged and came to india in the the valley of the indus valley civil in the indus valley and they established there for themselves and further they extended so that was the rule then there came the hinduism the Hindu rulers, the, they, they made the, the, the religion, the, a particular religion they developed called the Hinduism. Before that also people were there. They were living. We, are, we have discussed in a, in a previous class that uh, the, there were Indus Valley civilization and people were there already. But after they declined, this, the Aryans came and then they came over here, they established their religion and then uh, they made their own group. So they were the among them the Harshvardhana was the last ruler before the coming of the Turkish. 
Turkish invasion. This is what today we are going to discuss about that. Number, lesson number four. Okay. Did you open this pencil in hand? So, here it is. So, after the death of Harshvardhana, in 1647 CE, the kingdom ruled by him disintegrated. That means it is said that Harshvardhana was the last Hindu ruler. Mind that. Therefore, it is known as Harshavardhana is considered to be the last Hindu ruler of India. So, after he, after he died, the kingdoms started disintegrating. Disintegration means becoming small, small, divided into small, small kingdoms. So, these fragmented area were ruled by feudal lords. So, feudal lords means, this feudal lords means, these nobles were there, they were given uh, uh, salary. It was, there was no currency. What was the salary? Some, certain areas of, uh, of land was granted to them in service to the emperor, to the king. And so, they were known as feudal. So, they were uh, the ruling that area, uh, having the ruler, the emperor, the king. So, king was the main ruler and then this small area was ru ruled by these uh, lords called the, the, the nobles. They were known as feudal lords. They were uh, having, um, looking after that area and having that land of their own as long as they served the emperor. That's why they were the feudal lords who were always at war with each other. So, they were after his death, after the death of Harshavardhana, they started fighting among themselves at war for the supremacy, for the power. See, today also we are having same thing, same attitude I am telling you. Uh, uh, this party is fighting against that party. Uh, that king is fighting about this king. That country is fighting against this country. So, there is still uh, the, uh, the fight for the supremacy, for the power is still going on. So, these feudal lords were fighting among themselves, having war with each other. This offered the perfect opportunity for foreigners to invade India, invaders to raid and invade the country. So, two were fighting and then third person gets the benefit. Doki ladai me tisre ko lab. Two monkeys are fighting. The, uh, no, the two, 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 two cats were fighting, mice, they were fighting for the bread. And the monkey comes and then he tries to, uh, what call, uh, handle the situation, gives the justice. By even giving the justice, what he does? His monkey business, you know that. And so, he takes over the whole uh, loaf of bread. Do you understand? Exactly the same happened. With two brothers, we are fighting. And then third party from somewhere, he comes and then he rules over. So, this is what uh, divide and rule. Whose policy was that? Divide and rule? I will not tell. <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, in West and Central Asia, I said no, Central Asia, the once powerful Abbasid Empire was on the decline and a number of independent states emerged with a Turkish ruler. This Abbasids were the, the after the, the Caliphate, after the Caliphate, Abbasids were ruling. These were the followers of a Prophet Muhammad. They were the successors of Prophet Muhammad, Abbasids. And so, they, um, this Abbasid emperor was declined. They declined. They also broke up into fragments. And so, these fragmented people, they, uh, they were uh, among the emerged the Turkish ruler from Turkey. Turkish rulers. These Turkish had earlier served in the armies of caliphs. Caliphs. Caliph means the successors of Prophet Muhammad. Caliphs are the, uh, the successor of, of Prophet Muhammad. So, these were caliphs uh, and uh, these Turkish soldiers were serving the caliphs. Of the many status formed by Turkish by the Turkish, the two most important ones were the Ghazni and the Ghor. Ghazni and the Ghor uh, 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 group, two groups were formed, two groups of the Turkish uh, people, so Turkish soldiers, they made two groups. 
one was the ghor the other one was the ghazni trade brought the arabs to india as early as 7th century ce they arrived at the coastal region of india and soon the wealth of india attracted them see so this uh, ghazni and ghor were the kingdoms of afghanistan this ghazni and ghor are located in the region of afghanistan today's present afghanistan so afghanistan was the border of india those days okay not pakistan border and this was the only route to the other parts of the of the world this so west uh, northwest frontier northwest frontier was the only land communication to other parts of of the world so this was the only way other parts were decided so the himalaya see the map in the next page you see in page number 33 this was himalaya and this side was the the, the mountain so this side was the the sea down covered by the, uh, the three sides uh, the sea one side mountain only little path was open that afghanistan see in the map the green side you see the page the green side and so this was the only way only way to come so they were they came up to afghanistan ghor and ghazni uh, so ghor and ghazni trade board board so they were the business kind you see i have told discussed with you in uh, the rise and spread of islam remember the 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 prophet muhammad was uh, uh, belong to the the trade group not the herd group herdsmen he, they he did not be, uh, he does not he did not belong to the the herd group or the uh, the group which were herding animals get cattle cattle raiding but they were this they were the buying and selling of the things they were the trade group he belonged to the trade group and so he was a businessman and so he was a businessman origin and so he was so they came till the ghor and ghazni the arabs had tried in, to invade thrice before they could actually enter india they tried to enter into india they had attacked india thrice in uh, it began when some uh, pirates some pirates from sindh plund, uh, plundered arab ships carrying gifts from the king of ceylon to the caliphs of baghdad and and the um, the hajaj hajaj see what is this pirates underline these words pirates pirates were the can you tell what is pirates pirates were the the sea decoits the those who were attacking the sea traveler uh, the travelers by on the sea or by the boats or the ships they were they, they were uh, looting them they were attacking them and taking away the things they were pirates so they attacked the the gifts they were bringing who sindh uh, plundered arabs arab ships carrying the gifts from the from the arabs to the king of ceylon which is ceylon where is it the ceylon where is ceylon ceylon is sri lanka ceylon ceylon means sri lanka to the caliphs of baghdad and hajjaj so the governors of iran the governors the governors of iran they were he was the the uh, the caliph of baghdad caliph means the successor of the see they were all islamic origin the the infuriated hajjaj um, hajjaj then wanted compensations from the king of sindh on his refusal hajjaj emerged people engaged people and attacked the king of sindh the king of sindh was the indian king king of sindh means he was the indian king okay so he was attacked so they were asking the compensation for the pirate they had looted them so king had to give the compensations that means the loss which they suffered king had to return them but he refused do you understand he refused them he refused them on his refusal hajaj emerged engaged people they made a group of people and asked them to attack king of sindh the the first two invasions were unsuccessful till the third invasions under the mohammed bin qasim so under the leadership of third one was the uh, was led by mohammed bin qasim now 
Muhammad bin Qasim was the the leader of the third invaders invaders out to the king of Sindh king of Sindh after the victory he is he started uh, conquering other areas and the whole of Sindh came under Arab authority Arab authority who who defeated uh, Muhammad bin Qasim defeated king of Sindh name is not given and so uh, under under him and the whole authority authority was after his invasion in Sindh other part of India towards the north in, uh, frontier northwestern frontier were under the Arabs authority they dominated they took over you see see how they are slowly getting in but the Arabs failed to extend their rule beyond Sindh and Multan because of the resistance from the Rajputs so Rajputs were very very strong and violent and so they could not go further remember that the most the most significant Im uh, impact of the Arab invasions of, uh, of Sindh was the advent of Islam in North India in uh, South India Islam came through trade by the uh, by the 10th century the Turk had become powerful enough to wild of uh, wild power over the central central and south east asia they also conquered persia in india the infighting among the rajputs made it opportune for them for the troops to attack india <laughs> please read this i am going to stop here okay it is very interesting so please read this much don't go Muhammad bin Ghazni and all that uh, we'll discuss in the next video. Stay safe.